So what happened before was I would just wait. I would just sit and wait. And so what I started to do was this, and this is big. Welcome to another episode of our clutter-free January series. And this week we are tackling paper. This video is in collaboration with Dawn from The Minimal Mom and many other YouTubers who are tackling and giving tips about organizing paper and paper clutter and just a system that works. Click the link in the description box to watch the playlist of these other amazing YouTubers who know way more about decluttering than I do. But to be honest, paper declutter and paper clutter itself is something that I've actually gotten a hold of this last, I'd say maybe a year and a half. At one point, paper clutter was everywhere. It was in my kitchen, all over my kitchen island. It was all over my office because I just felt like that's just where I, it was thrown. You know, we would get the mail out of the mailbox and it would just pile up in on the on the kitchen island and then at some point I'd get tired of my kitchen island um, looking like a dumping ground and so then I would just dump it in my office, on the floor, on my desk, wherever I can find space for it. And it was to the point where I just, I just, I was going crazy, you know? I was really going crazy with it. And so what I started to do was this, and this is big. Every single day I had to address the mail that was bought in. So what happened before was I would just wait. I would just sit and wait. And, and one of the biggest things that would happen is I would look through the mail and if it was something that I didn't know what to do with, meaning do I need to shred this? Is this something that I keep? Do I keep this for a short period of time or do I keep this forever? Like that kind of stuff where you're asking those questions would just pile up because I just didn't know what to do with it. I mean, I would wait so long before I would do something with it. Give me a thumbs up if you understand it, if you've been there before because that was really my biggest problem. And so what I started to do was every single day I would address the mail. So when we get the mail in, First of all, half of the mail typically it's just flyers or you know junk. So that immediately goes into the recycle bin. I don't wait, it just goes right into the recycle bin. Then half of it is either bills and then the other half is stuff that we're, you're questioning like, should I keep this? Is this something I keep forever? Is this something that I need to address? That kind of things. Now, if it's bills, like I have right here, I, usually would put them right on my on my computer so that I the next time I get on my computer it only takes a couple minutes you're going to pay the bill and then I'm going to share later on in the video how how I organize and file all my papers so I immediately pay the bill and then I would put them in a pile for to file because I'm the type of person I just like to have my paper bill I just do I like to look back at it now some of them I do do online through online bill pay but those are the ones that it's like I never question but some of them I do like to keep a paper bill because I may have a question about it because you know girl listen AT&T DirecTV they like to play games they like to play games and I like to have my paper bill to just pull out to make sure that you you know our bill is accurate now the other part of that you know, maybe you're getting something about your 401k, an update about your 401k or, or your investments, or maybe you're getting something about, you know, uh, your benefits, your health benefits. Like we would get stuff like that and I, it, I would just keep putting them in a pile and I just wouldn't address them. So then what I started to do was if I got a medical bill in, I would file it and then I would wait until I got the bill from my insurance, not the bill, but the benefits of explanation from your insurance, whoever your health insurance is from. Usually they will send you something that explains your benefits and explains what you, what you owe. And if those match, then I will staple them together and I file them. I like to keep those too. I don't, I don't like to throw those away. And it's important that you wait until you get that explanation of benefits before you pay a bill because a lot of times those bills are wrong. I saved us over $100 one time through the dentist when I took Ava to the dentist. She actually had to have some cavities filled and they billed us wrong. <laughs> and I waited until I got the explanation of benefits that, you know, I showed the discrepancy and then the dentist's office, you know, they apologized. They said, oh, we coded it wrong. That happens way more than you think. So don't just blindly pay your medical bills. But anyway, that is, so that is what I do when the bill, when the mail comes in. I immediately try to address it 
put it in the right place and then I file it. Now let me show you the filing system that I use, that I've been using for years that I absolutely love and hashtag this is not sponsored. All right, so here is the um, filing system that, that we use and love. This is called Freedom Filer. It makes it really, really simple so that you know what you keep and what you rotate. So basically every year, actually we're in odd years. This is how behind I am yet. I haven't um, switched out my years yet, but anyway. Okay, so what I have in the green and purple, which is this beginning section right here, it's our monthly bills, January through December. I still have even year because I haven't made the switch yet. As a matter of fact, let's just be proactive and take this whole thing out. Okay, so these are my monthly bills. So those bills that I said I had on my island, they would go in here. I'm going to go ahead and switch these out. What I do is I have, I keep these for one year. So I will put these away and then I'll bring out my um, odd years and put them in here. And then, so, because what's currently in the odd year right now is 2019. I can shred all those 2019s and then I will keep 2020 for just one year because girl, you just, you just never know. <laughs> so I keep it for one year and then I will shred it them at the beginning of next year. Let me show you. All right, so I have this and this is where I store the, the previous year's files. So remember, this is an odd year, it's 2021. So I just pulled out my odd year files from here and I'm going to put them in here and so that I could start filing my monthly bills. Now, everything that's in here, which is everything from 2019, I'm gonna go ahead and shred because it's been a year, there were no issues, so I'm gonna go ahead and shred those. And everything that's in here, which is my our monthly bills from 2020, I'm gonna file and put away in here. I would never access this, I only access this once a year, so we just put it in my husband's, uh, the closet in his office, and that's when I pull. We have other important things in here, like about investments and stuff like that in here as well, but I only, like I said, only have to access it once a year. So and this is when I'm doing it now. So now I'm gonna pull all of the stuff out of the, the odd year so that they can be shredded. Okay, so this is my shred pile. I'm gonna shred all of this. This is all stuff from 2019. I have my even year stuff. I didn't take anything out of the folder. I'm gonna put everything back in here because again, I'll access this again next year. Then I put my odd years in. January through December so that I can start putting my monthly bills in here. Now these are the bills that were on my island that I paid this for this past week. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the January section of here, there. Now, so that takes care of the green freedom filer um, tabs here. So the green freedom filer tabs, those are the things that you're going to move out yearly. Then we move into the blue section, which is my tax stuff. Now it still says even year because we haven't filed our taxes yet, but when it's time to file our taxes, I just pull this whole file out and then everything that we have as we get our, you know, um, W2s in or 1099s or whatever, I just keep, I put them in here. That's where those go. So that I have our tax documents all in one place whenever we're ready to go and file our taxes. Now, um, the yellow is stuff that's going to change every year. So anytime you get or change every so often, when you get new car insurance, when you get new benefits from your job or whatever, you put it in here and then you discard it once you get something new or get an updated file. And then the red is permanent. This is our health records, like our certificates, birth certificates, cards, social security, cards, uh, warranties, anything like that goes into the red. And they have so many different ones like, you know, that you can do. Um, and it's really, really cheap and inexpensive. That's why I love it. Now it doesn't come with your filing, hanging filing folders, but it comes with these tabs that are already labeled and this kind of system that you use. And this is why I love it. And this is what has helped me to not be drowning in your paper where everything has a place. So that is basically how I handle my paper clutter. You, the biggest thing for me is addressing the mail every single day. Just like I made it a new year's resolution to address the dishes every single night. Just put them in the dishwasher, run the dishwasher. And it has been a game changer for me when you incorporate the things that you wanna change in your daily routine. So add it to your daily routine um, every single day. If you are a person who likes to use a planner of some sort or a notebook to plan your day, 
add it to your book as a part of your daily routine. That's the best way for me to incorporate new habits that I want is when I'm able to incorporate in my daily routine. So with the paper, I address the mail every single day. If it's a bill that comes in, I just pay it immediately or put it on a filing folder if you pay your bills on a certain date or pay it by your by the day that you get paid or whatever like that. Have some place to put it on your desk and then file it immediately so that it's not just sitting there and having piles and piles of it. You know, if it's something that like, like I said, from investments, that would go in the red section of the Freedom Filer because you wanna keep those things like that just in case you know you need anything like that now i know a lot of minimalists are in this um, playlist and they're probably going to tell you to get rid of all the paper and just have it all online and honestly that makes sense it really really does make sense it just doesn't make sense for me okay that doesn't mean it's wrong that doesn't mean that they're wrong i just personally like to have the paper so that i can look back because there have been many times where it's like i don't have time to try to look online or look into a system i want to look at the paper i'm looking through a paper because i I want to find something in particular. So for me personally and my personality, I like to have my paper bills come. I like to um, keep a file of it and everything like that. So, you know, you have to do what, work, what works best for you and your family. So leave a comment down below and let me know, how do you deal with paper clutter? What do you do? What's your filing system like? I will leave a link for the Freedom Filer in the description box um, in case you're interested in it, but I absolutely love it. It, it has definitely helped me to um, take care of the paper clutter in our home. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, join my YouTube family, girl, click that subscribe button so that we can continue on this decluttering journey. I have plenty to declutter. You should see my office right now because I'm in the middle of redecorating my office and painting it. It's just like a whole mess. So I have plenty of decluttering coming on my channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.